So when AI came out, we were actually late to the game. Um, it was it started last November, and and we found out in February. And Vin has taken it to another level for our marketing. Um, I will be honest with you. In the last few couple of weeks is when I started to really dig in, because coming from a, a, a just a analytical background, coming from an entrepreneur, we start everything from the beginning to end because of the fact that that nobody's going to know how to grow our business and know, and know what our vision is. So how would a an AI person even know what that looks like, right? I will tell you, it has helped so much, especially that we've come to the conclusion we have to build an internal training. And that starts with what's your vision? What's your core values? So I played around with it last week. Um, and I, I put in, do you know what EOS model system is? And it's like, yes, traction from Gene Agino Wickman. And these are what you need to do. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So what it's helped me do is I can plug it into chat GPT um, and it will create everything for you of what you're looking at. You know, I say I'm looking to build an internal training module, a program for my internal team of how this is. And it just really helps you. So you're not having to write everything down and we get those mental blocks or then then we have to we get the squirrel moments and someone else is calling. So it's really helped me just minimize that time. But just like Vin said, no matter what, it's not going to take our jobs, right? Or at least right, not right now. I don't know what the future holds because it's still in that people business. I mean, AI is not going to answer, uh, you know, a maintenance call and everything of that nature. It's not going to, um, you know, it can write our leases, but we still have to make sure that it's still that personal touch. Um, but it's really helped on the administrative side of it. So I currently right now, and again, on the operation side, we're using chat GPT. I know for the marketing side of it, Vin utilizes the Canva a lot. So we'll get the information and it comes up with some good things. Like we're, we're in a game of everyone's in midterm rental space and transitioning over as landlords, because, you know, um, if you were in the short term rental space, you're trying to find another strategic way. Uh, and it's competitive out there. It's competitive to how does your listing look on furnished finders? How do you get to the top of the thing? Um, uh, we can only, as unless you're an amazing marketing person, only come up with so many different twists and turns. ChatGPT can help you with that and at least guide you. And it's so crazy on some of the things it says. Um, it even actually can help you if you want to write a love letter. So <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. 